guys are there now my dear students how are you all hope you are doing great so we are learning chapter 1 now in this chapter we have already learned that the early counting tools we learned we have also learned about the abacus the first calculating device okay now in this session uh abacus we have learned early counting tools that abacus first calculating device then pascaline adding machine and labinus tape recorder we have also learned about charles babbage analytical engine then lady ada lovelace's program and then herman hollerith's tabulating machine so now i am giving you a brief explanation of all these topics and after that we will start our new topics okay so now the chapter name is evolution of computers in this chapter we have learned that early counting tools so early counting tools in ancient time a uh, thousand years before jo log hote the wo counting kaise karte the they also used to count with the help of fingers toes pebbles stones sticks bones right all the pictures are given in your book now then evolution comes to the abacus the first calculating device this is the first calculating device and you also know that abacus was invented in the country china in china and it is a wooden frame with some parallel wires which can do simple calculations right now the evolution comes after the abacus evolution came to the pascaline adding machine pascaline adding machine so the name of the mathematician was blaise pascal blaise pascal so mathematician tha we have learned that jo maths ke invention karte hain jo maths mein experts hote hain unko mathematicians bolte hain so the name of the mathematician was blaise pascal he has he invented the calculating machine called the pascaline adding machine pascaline adding machine blaise pascal was the mathematician and he invented the machine name was pascaline adding machine the numbers were fed into the machine by dialing them on the wheels so you can see or hear the picture of the pascaline machine and the blaise pascal okay the mathematician and but jaise abacus mein we can do only a uh, simple digit uh, uh, calculation now in a uh, pascaline adding machine also uh, capable of performing only addition and subtraction pascaline mein only kya tha wo uh, perform kar sakta tha only on addition and subtraction now later on the evolution came to the labinus tape recorder labinus tape recorder in 1672 a mathematician got fried will ham labinus got fried will ham labinus what was the name of the uh, mathematician the name of the mathematician was got fried will ham labinus invented the digital mechanical calculator called tape recorder so the calculator what invented by the gottfried wilhelm labinus is the tape recorder it was the first calculator that could perform all the arithmetic operations so if i ask you that what was the first calculator that could perform all four ar arithmetic operations so addition subtraction multiplication and division ye charo arithmetic operations uh, max ke liye bahut hi important hai unko bolte hai arithmetic operations so labinus tape recorder tape you can say tape recorder or you can write labinus tape recorder so both the answer will be correct so these are the four uh, addition subtraction multiplication and division 
okay that could perform on all four arithmetic operation now evolution comes to the charles babbage analytical engine then in in the year 1822 a mathematician charles babbage developed a steam driven calculator steam driven calculator means se steam se chalne wala calculator that was the size of a room wo kitna bada tha room ki size jitna bada tha which he called the difference engine but even after working on this project for 10 years this machine uh, never become a reality so as we discuss in our live class that uh, he didn't give up even after working on this project for 10 years he didn't give up and he invented a other machine in the year 18 33 he invented a machine called the analytical engine the first ever working model of a mechanical computer okay here you can underline this that the first working model of the computer is analytical engine okay now second one is lady ada lovelace's programs and also yes charles babbage uh, analytical engine was invented by charles babbage you all know that and charles babbage is also known as the father of computers if i ask you that who is the father known as the father of computers then your answer will be charles babbage now lady ada lovelace's programs the instruction given of babbage's uh, analytical engine we are in the form of zeros and ones the first person to introduce this concept who is the first person to introduce the concept was lady ada lovelace now he uh, she suggested to charles babbage to uh, instruct the programming language right so you can underline this c is known as the first computer programmer c is known as the first program computer programmer now the evolution comes to the here herman hollerith's tabulating machine herman hollerith tabulating machine so herman hollerith and army officer herman hollerith an army engineer built a machine called tabulating machine in 1890 the machine read store data from punch cards so here the machine used the punch card for enter the data to store the data now punch card kaise hote the there is a one paper usme numbers of uh, letters or digits already given there you have to just punch it usko punch karke aapko data andar computer mein store karna hota hai after the success of this machine this machine got success hollerith formed a computing tabulating recording company to sell his machine later in 1920 1924 his company became a part of international business machine corporation today popularly known as ibm so ibm ibm is a well known computer selling company ibm still today's date ibm is a very well known company okay and what is the full form of ibm international business machine corporation international business business machine corporation now we are coming towards two generations as we discuss in live class that computers also have generations okay okay now we are learning about the first generation okay jaise aapki family mein bhi generations hoti hai na grandparents then parents then you so different types of generations 
तो वैसे ही कंप्यूटर में भी जनरेशंस है आफ्टर दिस अर्ली कैलकुलेटिंग मशीन्स द प्रेजेंट कंप्यूटर टुक इट्स से इन फाइव जनरेशन सो कंप्यूटर जनरेशन डिवाइडेड इन टू फाइव ओके सो फर्स्ट जनरेशन सो फर्स्ट जनरेशन के कंप्यूटर कौन से ईयर के बिटवीन थे 1940 टू 1955, फोर्टी टू नाइनटीन देर आर मेनी कंप्यूटर्स दैट वे आर अ पार्ट ऑफ फर्स्ट जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स सो देर आर मेनी कंप्यूटर्स इसमें से द वन इज टेकन हियर अ मार्क वन मार्क वन द फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल पावर्ड कंप्यूटर सो फर्स्ट वट वॉज द फर्स्ट कंप्यूटर ऑफ फर्स्ट जनरेशन वॉज मार्क वन ओके दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल पावर्ड कंप्यूटर इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फोर प्रोफेसर होवार्ड्स एकेकल कंप्यूटर नेम्ड मार्क वन ओके यू कैन अंडरलाइन ऑल हियर दैट इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी फोर professor howard akins built the first electro mechanical calculator uh, sorry mechanical computer named mark 1 it is used punch cards and typewriters for input and output so same as tabulating machine so mark 1 also used punch cards and a typewriter for input and output Mark I was much more real, real, uh, reliable. Reliable means Vishwasniya than early electronic computers. So Mark I, सबसे ज़्यादा Vishwasniya था कि उस पर हम trust कर सकते हैं सबसे अच्छा than early electronic computers. Then this is a picture you can see how big it is, right? It is a picture of Mark I. ओके नाउ देन सेकेंड अनदर कंप्यूटर इज ऑफ फर्स्ट जनरेशन वोज एनिक एनिक द फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंप्यूटर दैट मार्क वन इज द फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल पावर कंप्यूटर बट एनिक वॉज द फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंप्यूटर तो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक न्यूमेरिकल इंटीग्रेटर एंड कंप्यूटर हियर यू कैन अंडरलाइन दिस Uh, full form. What is the full form of any electronic, numerical, integrator, and computer? Once again, what is the full form of any electronic, numerical, integrator, and computer? Was the first electronic general purpose digital computer built in 1946 by John Mosley and Prisper? A cat, a cat, Prisper, a cat, John Murchley, and Prisper, a cat. It contained over eighteen thousand vacuum vacuum tubes and was a thousand times faster than Mark One. Here you can underline this. So Mark One was a electro mechanical powered computer. But here, any was the electronic computer, totally electronic computer. Now, the full form of any was uh, any is electronic, numerical, integrator, and computer. And who has invented that computer? Any John Mosley and Prasper Eckert. And uh, Professor Howard Aikens invented Mark One. Now, any contained over eighteen thousand vacuum tubes. Vacuum tubes kya hoti hai? Uske andar electron ko uh, store karti hai aur computer ko run karne ke liye, chalane ke liye vacuum tubes use hoti hai. Electricity vacuum tubes through computer ko milti hai. So, so any had over eighteen thousand vacuum tubes. And was thousand times faster than Mark One. So, and it consumes almost 200 kW of power. Okay. Now, you can see the picture. How big it is? It is a bigger than Mark One. And 
and the third computer is of first gener generation was Univac. Third computer of first generation was Univac. Univac or Universal Automatic Computer. The full form of these you can say Univac or you can say Universal Automatic Computer was another successful invention of John Morsley and Rasper Accurate in 1951. So, this one. Annie and Univic invented by the same uh, in, uh, invention by same John Morsley and Rasper Accurate which would handle both numeric and textual information. So, Unique was handled both. Usme ab numeric or textual dono information input kar sakte the. Now the unique Univac had 5,200 vacuum tubes. You can see here. Anik had 18,000 vacuum tubes, but here Univac had 5,200 vacuum tubes. It is bigger than the any right and very faster than any right so features of the first generation computers overall the three which are the uh, three feet uh, three computer first generation computer mark one any and univac universal automatic computer so these are the features huge in size you can see all three uh, were in use in size very expensive because uh, they use so many uh, vacuum tubes, right? So it's very, it was very expensive, made up of vacuum tubes. So these all three were made up of vacuum tubes. These are the feature, and that is very important to learn. Feature of, if I ask you that the feature, uh, which are the features of first generation computer, then your answer will be huge in size, very expensive, and made up of vacuum tubes you can see here the vacuum tubes picture from right now the second generation computer after 1955 use of transistors and magnetic tapes here you can see the picture of magnetic tape and transistor magnetic tape and transistors okay change the image of electronic computer during this period, the major computer manufacturers began to offer a range of accessories such as page printer, cathode ray tube display cards and feeders etc. These are the second generation's accessories which were used into made computers. Okay, now the feature of second generation computer. So second generation computer ne kya use hota tha? Magnetic tapes and transistors. Okay. And the image of the electronic computer that changed the image of electronic computer. Now first generation ne vacuum tube use hoti thi. But in uh, second generation only used uh, transistors and magnetic tape. Okay. Okay, now in uh, features of second generation computers, this made up of transistors, you also only have to remember these features, okay? Other things are just for your knowledge, but you need to remember these features, okay? Features, features of second generation computer. So, second generation computer made up of transistors. Okay, magnetic tapes were used to store data. These are the magnetic tape and this used for store the data. Small in size compared to store first generation computers were too big. But in second generation computers, small in size and less expensive than the first generation computer. So, compared to first generation computer, a second generation computer were small in size and less expensive than the first generation computer, faster and reliable.
reliable now the next is reliable faster and reliable okay now the next is third generation computer in the third generation in the invention of integrated circuit what is the full form of ic integrated circuit led to the smaller sized computer with the better functioning or more storage here you can see the picture of the integrated circuits what what is the full form of ic integrated circuit right so feature of the third generation computers are these computers were made of ic's so in first generation computer made of four vacuum tubes in second generation computer made of four transistors and magnetic tape and the third generation computers were made of four ic's integrated circuits the use of the ic's reduced the size and increased the speed of the computer so ic ka use karte we a uh, computer ki size small ho sakti hai and the speed faster ho sakti hai compared to first and second generations they were more affordable and dependable so the, the computers were more affordable वो ज़्यादा एक्सपेंसिव नहीं है कम्पेयर टू फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड जनरेशन दे आर दे वर मोर अफोर्डेबल एंड डिपेंडेबल ओके सो दीज आर द फीचर्स ऑफ द थर्ड जनरेशन नाउ द फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ जनरेशन वी विल लर्न इन अवर नेक्स्ट सेशन ओके टिल दैन वन सेकेंड वी आर जस्ट रिपीटिंग द पॉइंट दैट वी हैव कवर सो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द अर्ली काउंटिंग टूल्स Abacus, Pascaline Adding Machine, Leibniz Tape Recorder, Charles Babbage Analytical Engine, Lady Ada Lovelace, Harman Hollerith. Then we have also learned about the generations. Okay, computer divided in five generations. So first generations. So there there were three computers. Mark one. any and univay these are the first generation computer now what are the features of the first generation computer they were huge in size very expensive and made up of vacuum tubes now the second generations so second generation uh, computer were made up of magnetic tapes and transistors so made up of magnetic tapes and transistors magnetic tape we are used to store data then uh, the first, second generation computers are small in size and less like expensive than the first generation computer and that they were faster and reliable okay now we have also learned about the third generation in the third generation the invention of integrated circuit the full form of integrated circuit is ic ic uh, what is the full form of ic integrated circuit and the feature of third generation computer this computers were made up of ic's the use of the ic's ic ka use karke with uh, the computers reduce the size and increase the speed of the computers they were more affordable and dependable so jaise jaise unhone ic ka use karna start kar diya computer ki size kaisi ho gayi choti hoti gayi and wo affordable affordable means uski price kam hoti gayi pehle ke first aur second generations ke computers zyada expensive the mehenge the usse wo zyada uski price affordable ho gayi so okay children now uh, just read the chapter okay if you have any doubt any confusion then we we will also discuss the same thing in our live sessions now our chapter here in our next session next week we will uh, learn about the fourth generation and fifth generations and we will also learn about the uh, objective exercise okay children bye take care have a good day